What's up, Two Times fam? This your girl, Mrs. Tony Two Times. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hood Tales. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I invite you to join the Two Times family. Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get notified of all uploads. Be sure to like this video if you're rocking with the content. Comment down below and share your thoughts. Of course, always keeping it respectful. Feel free to share this video. Make sure you watch until the end to hear the full story. Let's get right into it. It was April 2010 in Jersey City. Latanya Bellamy was home visiting while on spring break. She attended Felician College in the New Jersey suburb of Lottie. She was going to school to pursue a career as a social worker. Her hopes were to counsel troubled youths. While home on spring break, she decided to spend some time with her cousin who she grew up with, Shaquan Bellamy. Both cousins were 19 years old and had a close relationship. While Latanya was pursuing her college education, her cousin Shaquan chose another path. He was more into the streets than hitting the books. Despite their differences, the cousins still hung out. On April 4, 2010, Latani was spending time at her cousin Shaquan's house along with another friend, 19-year-old Darmelia Lawrence. While the trio were hanging out with each other at Shaquan's house, Latani expressed her desire to see what it feels like to shoot a Blakey. As the night went on, the group of three decided to go on a walk with the two Blickies in tow trading them amongst themselves as they walked the Jersey City streets, according to court records. Now at around 7.30 p.m. the night before, a Jersey City couple, Michael, 27, and Nia, 25, were celebrating at their engagement party at the popular soul food restaurant Delta's in New Brunswick where their closest family and friends indulge in dishes like catfish and stuffed pork chops, among other delights. After that, at around 10 p.m., the lovely couple had a larger get-together at a club and lounge until just before 2 a.m. One of the couple's friends arrived at the club a little late, around 1.50 a.m., according to news reports. They ran into the couple just as they were heading out of the club. The three and some others stopped and talked for more than a half an hour before the couple's friends asked, y'all hungry, we'll go to a diner. The soon to be groom said, no, I'm gonna take it in, we're gonna go home. And that was the last time their friends saw them alive. The couple arrived home at Michael's house on Randolph Avenue in Jersey City around 3 a.m. The couple began to unpack their engagement gifts from the trunk of Nia's Honda CRV. At the same time, Latanya, Shaquan, and Darmelia stumbled upon the couple as they walked along Randolph Avenue carrying the two blickies. That's when, according to Latanya, Shaquan says, it's them, get them. They ran up on the couple and robbed them. Then Shaquan ordered the terrified couple to the ground. They pleaded for their lives. Once on the ground, Shaquan fired the first shot with the big blicky that hit Michael in the head while his fiance laid beside him. The nightmare wasn't over. According to her testimony, Latanya said her cousin told her, you want to shoot a blicky? Shoot the effing blicky. So she took the blicky and shot it three times with one of the rounds striking Nia in the head, according to investigators. As the couple lay there lifeless, the trio continued to rob the couple of gift cards from their engagement party, cell phones, cash, and Nia's engagement ring. Then the trio attempted to steal the couple's car, 
but it had a staring lock on it, so they fled the scene. Witnesses dialed 911. Family members and friends of the victims were distraught and stunned that someone could do this to the couple, especially just after they were celebrating. Michael and Nia were college sweethearts. They were very popular, outgoing, and positive people. The couple first met through Greek life at their prospective colleges. Michael was an Alpha Phi Alpha. He attended New Jersey Institute of Technology, but left school before graduating for a career as a software engineer in Jersey City. Nia had ties to the Trenton area and was an Alpha Kappa Alpha. She graduated from the College of New Jersey. She was an associate producer for an affiliate of Nickelodeon in New York. The budding and thriving couple had planned to have their dream wedding in Aruba the following year, April 2011. Days after the heinous slaying, police were closing in on their suspects. Five days later, on April 9, 2010, Latanya Bellamy, Shaquan Bellamy, and Darmelia Lawrence were all arrested and charged. Shaquan was arrested a few days earlier on unrelated charges. Police were able to get a break in the case because of Shaquan's arrest, forensic evidence, and cell phone records. The arrests were announced at Michael's memorial service by the deputy mayor at the time. The family and friends of Michael and Nia applauded as they received the news. The family were happy and thankful, but they said that the arrests were just the first step towards closure. After the memorial services for Nia and Michael, they both were buried side by side. Their family placed matching wedding bands on their fingers. Latanya Bellamy and Darmelia Lawrence bail was set at $1 million and Shaquan Bellamy's bail was set at $2 million after an appearance at Central Judicial Court in New Jersey City. The case went to trial in June 2012. The trio was tried separately. By this time, Shaquan had been charged with three more killings while he was awaiting trial. Latanya's trial was first. Latanya testified that she was paralyzed with fear, and that's why she went along with what her cousin Shaquan and friend Darmelia said to do. According to news reports, Latanya was nervous on the stand. She testified that she would have ran if she could. She also told contradicting accounts of what happened that night. During her her first recorded interview with officials, she said she fired into the air twice while her cousin Shaquan fired at the couple twice. Then in a later interview, she said she shot in the air once, then on the ground once. She later changed that version to say that she shot at the ground twice and one of the rounds may have hit one of the victims. When the prosecutor asked if she was lying then or now, Latanya told the jury she was lying then. Latanya's defense was that she was honest and forthcoming with information about the terrible crime. They said she cooperated with officials, telling them about her cousin and friend's involvement, and where her cousin hid the proceeds from the robbery. Her defense argued that she never lied about having a weapon. During the trial, Latanya's mother stuck by her side, saying that her daughter was the best and that she had dreams. They had plans for her future. Along with her support for her daughter, she also had a great amount of sympathy and remorse for the pain her daughter's actions caused the victim's family and realized that their pain was greater than her own. Hours of testimony, cross-examination, and evidence went on for days before the jury went in to deliberate the facts and evidence presented in Latanya's case. The jury even asked to be recharged on the law regarding accomplice liability 
and requested a readback of LaTanya's testimony in court before coming to a verdict. After coming back from deliberation, the jury found LaTanya Bellamy guilty. She was found guilty of three counts, including the most serious offense, as well as carjacking and robbery. LaTanya had no emotions when the verdicts were read. Her mother sat behind her and put her head down in her hand and wept. Michael's mother, teary-eyed, nodded every time the jury said guilty. LaTanya Bellamy was sentenced to life plus 30 years in prison on February 8, 2013. During sentencing, LaTanya Bellamy apologized at the hearing attended by about 30 of the victim's family members and friends. She also maintained her innocence. She told the Hudson County prosecutor, there is no hard feelings, even though you and the jury have convicted the wrong person. She said the media has portrayed her as a monster, but she's really an honest person who had dreams. Her cousin Shaquan was later convicted and received life in prison. Darmelia was set to testify against Shaquan. She pleaded guilty to robbery charges in four other robberies and is serving 20 years. Latanya has been able to appeal her sentence in since her conviction because the judge couldn't remain impartial during sentencing back in 2013, according to reports. In 2019, the appellate court granted her a new sentence in hearing and she was sentenced again to life plus 30 years, which prompted the second appeal. Again in 2021, she was granted a new sentence in hearing where documents from her childhood showing her disadvantages and that she was a part of the system may show grounds for a more lenient sentence. I'm not 100% sure, but the new sentencing date has not been set yet. Okay, fam, this was an extremely sad story. I cannot express how horrific and senseless I believe this crime was. Just a complete disregard for innocent lives. My sincerest and deepest condolences to Michael and Nia's family and friends. No matter the amount of time passed, it's never easy. I hope they were able to find some closure and peace. May the memories of the young couple continue to live on. Fam, tell me what you think of this story. I just can't imagine a seemingly smart girl like LaTanya would throw her whole life away because she wanted to know what it felt like to shoot a blicky. Despite her testimony saying that she didn't shoot anyone, she still put herself there at the scene of a fatal crime, which by law says you're just as much responsible as the other parties involved. Now 31 years old, LaTanya and the other accomplices have to live with what they did and all the lives they devastated while they live out their days behind bars. And just sad. All right, fam, that's it for this episode of Hood Tales. Thank you for making it until the end. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe tap that notification bell thank you for making it until the end this is your girl mrs tony two times and i'm out